um, inkling anyway mm -hmm. has that ability, especially with a dash, to yeah. really go under a lot of stuff. Um, and obviously, Kodiak, Snake, entire thing. You're throwing out these grenades, you're throwing out C4, you're throwing out all these rockets. Yeah. You need that evasion. And honestly, it's going to be the biggest, biggest problem, I feel, like for Kodiak. But we'll see how it goes. Getting into it, Siren vs. Kodiak for the first set of Top 64. Let's go. Day two has just started. Seeing the first match of the day, already the first hit for Siren, and Siren already doing these little combos, but the upbeat to get away from all those damage. 51% already on Kodiak. Oof. Oh my god, and he's not letting Oof. him get back either. Okay. We've seen Kodiak but use that upbeat twice already. That Cypher just it isn't seeming to save you right now, Kodiak. But still, up smash, trying to snipe out Siren from the goddamn skies. All right, there we go. We have grenades. We're looking for that backer. It would not be fun. Oh, that up tilt. Sadly, going the other oh, way. No. And that's going to be the first stock. Okay. Okay. Siren is already cooking, putting a lot of paint on Snake. So that that was a quick, quick uh, stock. Once again, yeah, no. Siren is built different from the rest of the English in the UK. But so is Kodiak, man. There we Cannot go. count him out, bro. It's two stocks of peace snacks. One minute has passed. It's going to be a quick and a hot set. This feels very good. Very good. Both players already know the game plan. They're very dominant with the projectiles. At least at the moment, Kodiak is, you know, taking a step back, putting the C4s on the platform. So you got to approach this time or I'm just going to stay back. So oh. all those grenades are doing some action. C4 on the floor already destroyed. Once again, it's all about trying to get into that zone Ooh. that Snake creates here. And honestly, Siren is doing an amazing job. But at the same time, still taking damage. We're seeing it's neck and neck um, percents right now, Snacks. Right, 74, 96. Ooh, oh, 94 God. right there, getting trapped. So we are almost in even, well, we're already in even stocks, but this time Siren could lose that stock. Nice downer to get Kodak outside the stage. Yeah. Nice recovery. Yeah. Oof, all right. It's just really nice to see that Kodak knows Ooh, when to no. disengage, yeah. but even still, even though he's trying to run away, Siren is just hot on his tail, you know? Yep. Every single time, with these up airs, look at this. One, two, three, into the back air, too. Ooh, okay, that backer's gonna hit, just like Cloud's backer, sort of, right? So, mm. let's go 129. We are returning with that C4 Very on the platform, sweet. and a lot of paint on Snake. At the moment, that's been pretty critical. Yeah, I mean, Siren doesn't even have that approach at this point. He has the stock lead at this point, right? So. He doesn't even have to approach it. It's Kodiak that has to, you know, beat the deficit. Managing to nice. Oh, there we go. The C4. Nice. That's going to do it. One stock left on both sides, Snacks. I love it. I love it. Kodiak was baiting Siren. Like, you got to approach. Definitely. But he does not need to approach that grenade. He's going to do the work. Uh, downer for 49%. A lot of grenade action. C4 would not be hitting. So now we have distance game. C4 is down that platform. Oh. We get hit. We got to watch out. Okay, we got lucky there. Very, very scary. And honestly, once again, try and go for the C4. Grenade this time is going to detonate, though. 60 percent. And once again, it's every time that we're just seeing the percent just slowly manage Ooh, nice. to match up. And I feel like Kodiak's got a slight bit of momentum on his side right now. Siren desperate to get in. Once again, the ink all on him. There oh. we go. Booyah! Yeah, yeah, we're jumping too much. You you saw that little glide he had on the on the air. So he was like, "What? I, what, I I gotta try to you know get on the floor quick." Sadly, he doesn't. He's gonna lose that game number one, which was close. It was a really close yeah. game. Yeah. So hopefully we could try to see you know that back and forth from these two players. Hopefully Siren already got the trick. Although he's also falling a lot on the grenades and the C fours. Especially the C4s, like yes. he sees it. It is the, probably the reason why Kodiak hits a matchup, right? Yeah. It's the fact that when Inkling go, dashes, goes into the squid form, it's so hard to, you know, trip people up with the grenades. Grenades that, you yeah. know, usually airborne, so you can't just run into them. Shanique, S Siren can just go under it with that squid form. It's incredibly annoying for Kodiak. Well, game number two. Game number two. Game number two, people. Also, so you can't count on Kodiak. No, yeah. yeah. I, 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 again, I really feel it's going to be a really tight game because Kodiak already has a bit of, you know, the download, although Siren right. did get that, uh, you know, that uh, whiff from the air, right? So let's see. We're going to Hollow Bastion. I would love to see this stage. I think it's very good for Snake. You have that middle platform, so yes. there's not a lot of movement for Siren, you know, to do all those stuff. Yeah. But right now, getting the lead percentage right there, Kodiak, guns 80%. Yeah. And okay, the grant some grenade action, and no, that fortress is not going to be hitting. Oof. Definitely, definitely not. But once again, it is about all that control in that center stage, and I was so scared to see him up there. Yeah. Maybe take Kodiak stock, but he's still just nice. barely living on. Living on Cipher disengaged Ooh. there, grabs the grenade. Oh yeah, perfect. Using the grenade to 
forcibly stop Siren oh, no. from grabbing once again. Wow. Just amazing awareness from Kodiak, even though he's in a disadvantageous position, he's still oh. aware of his grenades, using it to his advantage. Nice, nice work right there. Return to the platform, bomb, the paint bomb, right there and back there. Yep, it was perfect, Beautiful aligned catch. right there. No air dodge could have done the work. So 82% grenades in action. All right, getting to grab the uppers, the back airs right there. The C4 would be hitting, not killing just yet, 104. Oh! Every Reverse just up did it. Yep, yep, he's yep. just gonna run from the platform immediately up to Halas that thing right there, man. That up there is crazy. Oh, not oh, nice forward there. 28%, 43 on Kodiak. Uh oh, uh oh, 79 already having a very high percentage at this second stock. Definitely so, definitely so. Still gonna follow up with the upper once again. I mean, it's just the way Sirens are able to maneuver around all of the projectiles and still Oof. catch Kodiak off guard, slacking every single time. I mean, I'm saying it's even, it's looking close in the sets, but every single time, Ooh. Kodiak is the one at the slightest advantage, but Siren, <laughs> a very rare whiff and smash though. Wow, hitting the grenade, not Kodiak. Oh, that's C4, oh, a bit God. too close, <laughs> but doesn't matter. The upper is gonna take Kodiak's second stock. Last stock. This time, Siren looking very dominant in this match. Yeah, you can see it, it's mainly because as well. Once again, we were talking about Ooh. the invasion. Still going. What? Ooh. Ooh, wait, hold up, hold Stays up. Stays back by the nades, I believe. Oh my God, that just two frame. So that recover. You know, he tried to recover, but sadly the grenade just hits him, and he did not tech. We did yeah. not expect a tech though, because I, I mean, I did not know it was gonna hit. Yeah. So 54 percent for Kodiak. Extremely scary, extremely scary snacks, man. Oof. There we go. Oof. Oof. Okay, okay, 69. <laughs> so 77, oof, not getting dicked on. Okay, 82, we're in that platform. Oh, C4 though, not gonna kill just not, yet. Oh, not at all, there we go. But once again, he's gonna try and take control of that center stage. Once again, Kodiak is really scared to approach and I don't blame him and does he really need to? Oof, that up tilt, oof, an up tilt that could have done a lot. But right now, a lot of grenades for Kodiak. Nice dash attack to put uh, Siren away. Yeah. So, okay, so Siren's a bit scared. Yes. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Okay, so he still survives. Just nice. barely. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Just, just barely. Oh, my God. And even that up at the end, barely kills. Barely, yeah. barely, barely kills. And, you know, we can see that Kodiak is really trying to make... You know, cement his dominance in that center stage, but he's hovering around it a bit too much. Yes. Shanique realized yes. that goes for those up airs very easily and gets them every single time. And the funny thing is that in game one, he did not reverse, you know, he did not do B reverse, like to get out of Siren's way. However, this time he does it, because game one, he did not do it, and he still got caught. So already Siren got the downplay on Kodiak. Okay, so you're going to start moving around, because I'm looking I'm looking for that up air, right? Mm, yeah. So that will be game number two. Let's go to game number three. One more for Siren to continue to the next round on this regen, I mean, Invasion 2024. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And honestly, another thing to note is that it really feels like Kodak is struggling in some of these CQC situations, you know, yep. those close quarter combat situations mm -hmm. trying to, you know, really contest with all these aerials. Ooh. Look at that, 99%. And all Kodak can do is just upbeat that Cypher. Oh. And it's not really going to save you. 121, it's just going to keep going up. 124, 125, man. He slightly touched the... Go, oh, wow. Wow, so only 13% done on that first stock. Wow, this is looking very difficult for Kodiak at the moment. I kind of understand why this matchup, he does not like it. Even though it's not an impossible matchup at the end of the day. We just not, we just got to try to be not much in the air. But right now, those grenades. Oh, the footstool, footstool for the back air. Oh, my God. Uh, into his own grenade, nonetheless, Snacks. Oh, that's scary. Uh oh, oh, oh that could be. No, never mind. We're going to whiff right there. Another grab. Oh, brother. Oh, my God. My, my days, man. I, I honestly feel for Kodiak right now. He absolutely, he's absolutely getting beaten on by this little inkling. Siren unrelenting in his offense. The American soldier losing to the... It's a squid, right? Split to the... Yeah, it's it's like right. That. Okay, so whatever. Point is that at the moment... Inkling Kodiak is an inkling. Oh, well, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, 86% for Siren. Oh, look at... Oh, oh my God. God. He's just dominating. Yeah. Another up here. Oh, oh, backers. 87% looking for that uh, bomb, but no, the backer for Okay, nice grab. The Nikita could try to kill. Protect right, those. Air dodge. Grab? Yeah, air dodge in there, but still gets grabbed. There we go. We're going to see Nikita no. come out there. Nice. Oh, oh, hey, we did not have time to shield, but it doesn't hey. matter. Last stock still for Kodiak. You know, anything could be possible. We could try to yeah. see. 
possibly a comeback, but at the moment, Sirens is dominating. No jumps. We have a really good up B. Trying to catch him with a spell, man. The go. down smash too. Still gets the grab there. Up throw yeah. into the up air. Booyah. Wow. Once again, it's going to be a clean 3-0 for Shanique. For Siren, rather, against Kodiak. Damn, I'm cursed. I just did a commentary curse. I said game five, win game three. Well, it happens. It doesn't matter. But Siren is going to continue to the next round. Ending Kodiak's perfect run at the moment. A clean 3-0 from Siren. So congrats on that 